Guys, welcome back to another episode of Talk Automotive, the channel from a car lover to car lovers. Today we're heading to Mini Bits in Macclesfield to film with those guys. We're going to be looking at their R56, their F56, as well as the site they've got there, the modifications they've done to the car. And then we're going to hit the road and go to a famous pub called the Cat and Fiddle through, uh, through the Buxton Hills. Very famous motorbike road, great driving road. Unfortunately now it has 50 mile an hour average speed cameras, but let's get there, let's see the cars, and I'll catch up with you very soon. So we're down here at the at, with Mini Bits at Lime Green Car Sales, uh, checking out their minis. So what we'll do, we'll have a look around the cars now, talk through the modifications, get out for a drive, get some cool drive-bys, and then we'll talk about their big event that's coming up called Minovation in October, um, and me and Lee will talk through that. So stay tuned, enjoy the video, and I'll catch you soon. Lauren's R56 and as you can see definitely not standard um, so Lauren just talk us through what you've done with the front of the car here. Right so 4D plates um, carbon light surrounds I've gone with the LCI black badges I just thought it'd be a bit different yeah very um, nice that black belt line I've got LCI side scuttles um, I went with all of these 10 alloys they just suit the mini really well. We had them on our last R56, but we had them in like polished. Um, these come up for sale, and Leo was like, oh, let's just buy them. So I wasn't <laughs> sure because of the roof being red, but I think they can match like quite well. Perfect. No, I think they set the car up really, really well. Yeah. Um, and then working back, obviously, we got the mini bits sticker that you can definitely buy on the website. And then talk us, talk us through the spoiler you've got on this. It's a bit right, unique. So we have this spoiler manufactured in China. It is similar to the dual AG wing that they do. It is full carbon fibre and it just literally mounts onto your factory mounting points. You don't have to buy a Cooper or a one spoiler. You don't have to do any drilling. It just literally bolts on and fits dead easy. And it gives a really different look. Yeah, it's really, really cool. And like you say, the fact that it just bolts on means that anyone can yeah, put it on. Yeah, it's dead easy to fit. As long as you know how to hold a screwdriver and a spanner, you'll be yeah. all right. Yeah. <laughs> the other mod that she's done to this car is quite a cool one. So. Obviously, with, there's been quite a lot of work on the Union Jack side, and on this car, she's got the Union Jack tail lights. Is this something you stock at Mini Bits? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you guys, what I'll do is I'll, I'll drop a link in the description. So, you do, do you do them for all gens now? Um, is that for Generation 1? Right, okay. So, so they, Gen 2 and 3 minis. Eventually. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. So, the, there's two different types for Gen 2. So, there's this one's the LCI, so the reverse light is actually in the bumper. Whereas on the, the older ones, it is actually in the, uh, I can't think of the word. It's okay. <laughs> tail light. In the tail light, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there's two different types, LCI and non-LCI, but they're both the same. Epic, epic. So on to the coupe then. So now this is a bit special looking. I'll say it's probably one of my favourite coupes I've seen. Um, so you can see it here. It is pretty epic. And let me tell you, it's definitely low. Um, there isn't much uh, wheel gap in the arch there, so yeah, really, really good. So talk us through the coupe then, Lauren. Right, so the coupe has got the Atom Speed Scoop, which sets it off a bit different on the front bumper. Yeah, it's, it's like you can lose a hand in that. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one's got the badge covers on and the red badge replacement, so the badge has got the red centre. Nice. Um, this one we've kind of gone with all the carbon like, wrapping kits that we sell, so literally the grill, the lights, rounds. Everything in the carbon. Yeah. Also, the spotlight covers we do as well to cover these up to give it the black out look. Yeah, they're really cool. Ace. Uh, anything under the bonnet with this one? Not really. This one. This one just chills at work. To be fair, it's not really. <laughs> it's only really got a spoken decal, and that's it. It's, okay. It's Make it loud. Yeah. Good. So it's a bit more louder and pops and bangs, but. 
Nice. And your mother is pretty standard. So it's a pr yeah, pretty standard coupe, but a very, very good looking coupe. And like you yeah. say, these alloys, they're JCW ones, but ones that I've not seen before, and I think they look really, really nice. Painted, um, Wooly painted them. They're like black, and then they finished with like the red metallic. Yeah. On new Range Rovers, so in different lights, they've changed colour. No, they're definitely, uh, definitely one to uh, to look at. And then I noticed on the back here, you've got a pretty big rear diffuser on this. Yeah, no, I think they're really nice. Yeah. Thanks to Lauren for talking us through the R56 and the coupe. We're now with Lee at Mini Bits to talk through his two F56s. Uh, one he's selling and the other is going to be a, a proper project, but he's done quite a lot of work to this, so we'll talk through this now. Um, yes, Lee, so just start with the front of it, really. What have so, you done? So, full the chrome kit, obviously. These are all add on bits, so obviously the grill and stuff. I know people say that you can get genuine for the same price, but you can't fit a genuine so quickly. Yeah, so, so that's why we, we chose to go with that sort of thing. Same with the headlight rings as well. Yeah, it just transforms it, really, the front hand, like you say. It's just. So, on this one, we went with a carbon badge purely because we had them and we needed to demo them, so they're really nice. Yeah, lovely those carbon badges. Yeah, yeah. And then, obviously. You go around, you can see it is quite standard. Yeah, uh, full the, belt line now. We've done the belt line, which I did again in Matt. I just think it looks very old. Yeah, it's lovely. Uh, handles. So we get round to the back, so there we go. Let's look at the back. Yeah, look at so these. the lights. Oh. Very nice. These are, there's two sets of these basically, what you can buy. We went for the ones with the black inners there because we think the finish on them is a lot nicer. Yeah. Uh, like I say, they do do another set that's got a chrome inside there, but again, we, we, we tried to kill all chrome, <laughs> so we went. Hence the website. Yeah, we killed that option. Yeah, they're lovely. Back diffuser again. Uh, not a pro diffuser, but it was a cheap mod. Uh, got yeah. this one online for about 70 quid. It does make a good good difference. So. No, it's lovely that. And yeah, dogs yeah. in vlogs as well, so that's, that's always it. good. No, it's lovely that. And then this is probably my favourite piece. Yeah, so that looks well, especially in the sun. Like yeah. you say, you go See it it's not that much more expensive than your black one. Yeah. So it is sometimes, depending on what colour and what car. On the grey looks really well. Yeah. Um, so it's genuine carbon, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, genuine carbon, yeah. So there we are, guys. So really easy mods that you can make to an F56 to make it look completely different. Like the stock, yeah, stock with all the chrome on it looks completely different to that. And like you say, the, the, I've never seen a matte belt line before. Yeah, I've got gloss on mine. I think that looks a lot really, really nice. So yeah, that car's unfortunately gone. Uh, There's but, a few bits inside as well. Oh yeah, let's have a go on that. So, so this is what we did with these. So basically you've got all the carbon add-ons. So you've got your eye drive, your centre console, your steering wheel controls, speaker rings, uh, electric window switches are all in carbon. Yeah, they're really nice. This one's a really interesting colour match actually. So it's like a satin black, is it satin black or a metallic black? Just flat black. Flat yeah, black, yeah. It's got a little yeah, bit of sparkle on, isn't it? But, and then, uh, yeah, there's amazing sort of like electric green lime green color isn't it it goes quite well with the name of the garage as well so that's good um yeah so lee talk talk well, this about one, this one that came about basically the girl that owned the car uh, she bought all the d-chrome kit off us so obviously she came up they're only local so they came up bought all the d-chrome we got to know them a little bit like i say uh, and then she's obviously had it wrapped uh, sort of four or five months down the line she's decided she's going to get an amg so there we go, that's how I come across it. Nice, nice. So what's the plan with this one then? What so would you like, like to do this to this one, uh, there's a bit of an odd story with this, but like I say, the grey one's still under manufacturer's warranty and all the rest of it, so that's going to stay. No performance mods whatsoever, because like I say, it keeps a warranty. This one's just out of warranty and has already been mapped, so it's running just shy of 300 horse uh, and 400 pound, of well, 400 newton meters of torque, so it really does fit to yeah, be the one. Uh, it's got an induction kit on it and obviously tomorrow it's booked in for its exhaust so we'll get a bit of noise out of it tomorrow as well lovely lovely and then you're going to do anything with the height you're going to drop it or so we've got a set of wheels which are in the pipeline at the minute so yeah, we're going to keep do stay that. tuned for them on the yeah, new bits yeah so we're, 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 we're just about to do them obviously we're going to ditch the run flats and stuff and make yeah. it handle a little bit better and then look at doing some suspension mods on it yeah uh, we've not quite decided yet whether to go full coil overs or just springs but we're just going to do a bit of research on that one no, epic. Well, thanks so much to the guys at Minibits for showing us their cars. As we just noticed, Lauren just pointed out, actually, we've got a full JCW run. So every single car is a JCW, so that's pretty epic. So what we'll do now, we'll go out, uh, head up some, you know, pretty well-known roads where we are here. We're going to jump in the car with Lauren first, then with Lee on the way back, talk about well, their upcoming events they've got a really good charity event coming up as well so we need to talk a lot about that um, and yeah get some clips of these cars actually moving <laughs> ah, you are 
Oh, well, okay, you know you're on camera. <laughs> that guy some epic driving them from Lee and Lauren in their cars really really impressive and I know they got run over a lot by a lorry so I hope you appreciate the content just heading back with Lee now to Lime Green Car Sales and I wanted to let you guys know about an event that the Mini Bits guys are running called Minnovation it's in October of this year and it's for the Veterans Garage and, and Lee's just going to tell you a bit more about the event and uh, yeah how you can get tickets and stuff so basically we've set up this, we've got obviously in the north, we're Manchester based, so there's not a lot of mini shows up this area and we thought, why not, there's enough content, you know, enough people to come. So the last two runs we've done, the second run we were near on 100 cars and obviously for a, for a run out it's, it is hard to organise, keeping 100 yeah. cars together and this, that and the other, it's an absolute nightmare, but it always works out. So we thought, why not? We'll have a static meet, and that, that's obviously progressed to let's have a show. We've had loads of people interested. Uh, the venue is absolutely spot on, like I say, it's at an airfield, so you've got helicopters coming in, planes, light aircraft, and stuff like that on, on the day. They'll all be still uh, running, so that's brilliant as well. So they'll all be, be something to do. They've got full facilities, big cafe, toilets, etc. So should be a good day, like I say, we've had quite a few people now contact us regarding you know stamps and stuff like that. Uh, because we've done it at so short notice, because we didn't realise uh, how big it was going to take off for the runs and stuff, uh, we, we're just trialling everything at the minute. So if anyone does want to join in, obviously we're going to have club stands. We've got you know six or seven clubs already that have committed to come in. Uh, and then obviously we're, we're getting more and more emails each day as more and more people find out. Like I say, it is short because it's only a couple of months away, but we thought, right, let's do it. Let's have a show and we can pre-trial this one for everything that's going to happen to this one. Obviously, it's then going to run on to next year. So if you've got any input or you want to add to it, you should do this, then give us a shout. We're open. We're beginning like you are. So obviously we want to know what you want. It doesn't matter what we want. We want to turn up and see all you guys happy. So <laughs> like I say, got any input give us a shout and the best thing about it all guys is all the proceeds going to yeah. the veterans garage aren't they yeah so the veterans garage basically ex-veterans uh, they've set up this they set it up a few years ago now they've been running you know quite a while uh, and they do basically support for ex-veterans so they do you know all sorts of different things within the veterans garage to support ex-veterans so whether it comes to counseling support anything like that they do that uh, we initially went there as anyone does running a business to you know think oh how can we make this profitable for ourselves yeah speaking to the two guys there they're absolutely spot on they've got everything sorted they're really nice guys and they do all their work for charity so we've now sort of backtracked and said no nope, all proceeds will go to you so any entrance fees we're only charging five pounds to get in really cheap that. really cheap like i say uh, but everything will go to the veterans garage to support what they do uh, hopefully in respect to that next year when we, we organize another meet there another show uh, it'll be bigger better and it's just gonna you know get better each year no fantastic well guys what i'll do is i'll drop a link in the description to the facebook page for innovation check it out buy tickets donate stuff because like i say everything's going to charity 
uh, we wouldn't be able to do what we do today without veterans and you know the people that have served the country deserve everything so for, for me I'm gonna you know do anything I can to help they're running a raffle as well so if you're you know anything anyone's got anything they want to donate please do just contact Lee or Lauren on the um, innovation Facebook page and definitely buy tickets uh, October what's the official date I think it's October the 3rd October the 3rd I'll double, I'll double check, check that with Lauren in a sec but October the 3rd make sure you're free it's gonna be a yearly event um, and if this one's a success it's gonna be one of many so uh, thanks very much for Lee and Lauren for taking the time showing me the cars had a really good time if you like this uh, video hit the like subscribe check these guys out on Facebook uh, on YouTube um, and like I say any bits you need for minis anything to get rid of chrome as well as some additional parts like I say like spoilers that we've seen check it out it's killallchrome.co.uk that's correct yeah ace well, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one peace